We're in Playa Blanca today. It's a very hot day, beautiful blue sky down here. And uh, those of you who know the area will know that we're starting at the Papagayo end. So in the background there is the Sandos Papagayo Hotel. And that's the shopping centre. Whose name escapes me, Jules? Can you El remember? Pueblo. El Pueblo. Uh, so a little shopping centre that serves both the hotel and uh, the many villas in this area. And the plan is we're going to walk down onto the front and towards the marina and uh, see what we see along the way. So the first of the big hotels we've uh, come across is the Gran Tagoro, which is a five-star family hotel. And there's a Jet 2 coach here just delivering some new arrivals for it. They're probably all very excited about their upcoming holiday. It's from the style of a castle, this one, isn't it? Yeah, and we've had um, clients stay there, haven't we? Yes. Yeah, it's quite a pretty building. Looks like they're doing some work on it at the moment as well. This whole area is beautifully planted with cactuses and drago trees and oleander. And then this path then goes straight the way down to the promenade, which is where we're heading now. Here we are down at the seafront uh, over to our left there are the beaches of Papagaya. This particular beach here is a dog friendly one. A few people snorkeling. The uh, beaches around the corner are much nicer and in the distance of course we've got Fuerteventura and Isla de los Lobos. And as we tracked around the corner the uh, Papagayo beaches are starting to open up. There's Cat Lanza moored up on her mor mor morning sailing. And then behind us we've got the uh, Mirador, Papagayo. Mirador Papagayo Hotel which is nicely front line. Yeah, worth having a sea view in this one. For sure, yeah. And this pathway is just beautiful along here. Really impressed with it and the way it's planted and uh, laid out and in very good condition. The ocean looks magnificent. Sorry, Jules. I was just going to say, should we just look back? It's not, it's quite, it's a stony beach, isn't it? The one that's there in front of the Tagaro and the uh, Sandos Papagayo. Yeah, I mean, they, I, I did say on the previous segment they aren't really beaches that I choose to spend a day lying on, but then you've only got to go a few hundred metres along here, and we'll show you in a bit, and you're uh, up with lovely golden sandy beaches. And the boat, is that marking the, the underwater sculptures? Yep, so that um, rib you can see in the middle there with the boys around it is where the Museo Atlantico is, the underwater sculptures by Jason de Clares. Something the Mirador de Papagayo have done here, which I think is really nice, is put these steps in so that their guests can just literally walk down the steps into the water and a bunch of people are enjoying cooling down. But it's great snorkeling there actually. Yeah, because there's lots of rocks you can see under the surface and you tend to get lots of fish where there are rocks. We've walked almost a kilometre and this is uh, La Cala Suites adults only hotel we have another lovely little bay here with a lone fishing boat anchored up in the middle of it and on the outside is uh, Castillo San Marcial the original fortress is built here to protect the coast from pirates the windows along here you can see the uh, pool rippling Do another shot from here looking back at Papagayo, which has opened up even more now. So you can see sort of four of the beaches, and the fifth is around the corner. I love the way the cars always glisten from the car park there. I don't know whether you'll see that on the video. I might try zooming in. They just glisten in the sunshine. reached the castle now and we're exactly one kilometre from 
where we started by the Gran Tagoro. As we go around the corner, we'll begin to see them. You can see some of the masts there already. So here we have this wonderful historic castle. And uh, thoughtfully, the town hall here, the Ayuntamiento, have built some toilets nearby. But not only are they not open, the building's awful. It's like a formica-covered porter cabin and completely ruins the area. They're getting a lot of stick about it on social media, deservedly so. Hopefully they'll take note and pull them down and put something more in keeping with the area here. On our right, there's the uh, Costa Volcan Hotel. What, uh, what do you know about it, Jules? The T-H-E Vulcan. Uh-huh. Not the Costa Vulcan. <laughs> it Costa. used to be the Costa Vulcan. It's not been the Costa, has it? Okay, no, all right. It's not been the Costa. making it up. Right, so on this side we've got the, the club, which is like the level area, where, um, like a privilege area. Okay. Where you've got your own swim pool and restaurant, and then around the corner you've got the main, main hotel. Okay. I'm going to research when I get home, because I'm sure it was once called the Costa Vulcan. No, it's a ship. It's a ferry. <laughs> Yeah, you could be right, actually. Anyway, that's the T-H-E <laughs> Volcan. And we've arrived at the marina now, which is our destination. You can see a parasender out there, a couple of speedboats playing, the Fuerteventura ferry coming in. And I'll just pan across the marina to show you. Hope you've enjoyed that from a very hot Tuesday afternoon in Playa Blanca. Have a great weekend. Bye for now.